While many Gator fans have their attention focused on the party that will start tonight at 630 in Gainesville, they're also keeping a close eye on what Florida alum and Jacksonville's own Tim Tebow is doing in his debut with Port St. Lucie. The Mets, Alyssa Lane continues our team coverage. She joins us live from the game. Hello, Alyssa. Hey, Chris, and there are plenty of Gator fans here, whether they're Gator baseball fans, Gator football fans. I want to turn the camera around, though, so you can see exactly how many Tim Tebow fans there are here tonight. There are so many Tim Tebow t-shirts here in Port St. Lucie. You have to wonder how long they've been planning on uh, having him here today. There's one, there's another, and there's another, and that's only a few of the Tebow uh, paraphernalia here walking around Port St. Lucie. Now, Tebow did just have his second at bat here for the Port St. Lucie Mets. He got a base hit, so that was pretty exciting. Of course, uh, there he is actually now uh, getting ready. He's gonna get another chance here in a few minutes, but uh, like you said, Tim, one of the most polarizing athletes in Gators history. It's something that he takes, but he's happy to have a platform. Listen to what he said yesterday when he arrived to Port St. Lucie. You as an athlete, you don't want to focus on that, that you would be a part of maybe fans coming out. Um, you want to focus on the game, but at the same time, you never want um, a platform to feel normal because you might not always have a platform. You don't want it to feel normal to be able to make someone smile because you might not always have that chance. And a lot of fans here hoping for a homer from Tim Tebow's bat. We'll keep you posted for now in Port St. Lucie. Alyssa Lang, Frisco Sports. Thank you, Alyssa. Tebow won for two. Our live team coverage of both of these big sports events will continue at 6. Also coming up tonight, all new at 6, find out the local prep football team that will be open its regular season on national TV. First Coast News at 6 starts on the other side of this timeout.